Hey guys, welcome back to Carve. My name is Insetic, and with me today is Blank Tester. Hey, how's it going? And Zara's Guff. Good day. And so today, we are jumping into the first pro circuit. And I'm gonna be a little bit more serious at the start, because pro is going to come up on you. It's gonna suddenly be a lot harder than what you've been facing before. Suddenly and you gotta be a pro. But I also want to mention that the footage recorded, you know, is me at a point where I could confidently get through the circuit without running out of retries. Oh. So, mm. these first few races, I'm gonna just gonna smash them, you know? Like, I don't have footage of me struggling to get through the opening races, blowing my retries, and then only getting to, like, race three and having to quit, because... But, but that is something that happened to you. Yes. Okay. Because... Car follows the system, and a lot of games follow this system. I'm not sure how you avoid it, aside from just making each track like kind of a separate checkpoint where you can just retry that over and over. But what Carve does is you have to go through, you know, all of the circuit before you can unlock the tracks that are in oh, that circuit to play ah. and free play. So by the time you get to Pro, these are six new tracks that you can't play unless you get to them in the Pro circuit. Oh, so, so it's not even a... Oh, that was a pretty cool, not even shortcut, yeah. just like a cool path. Um, so it's not even like a, it's not like a, you can, you can't practice the, the later courses without the, also the only, being good yeah. at the earlier courses. Yeah, the only yeah. way you can practice later ones is by getting there every time. So at a certain point, and you have four retries, if you fail something, if you don't get in fourth place, a fifth time you lose, basically. Mm -hmm. So at a certain point... I was, like, dominating these early tracks, and basically, I mean, you can see I'm already in first, which, again, I do need to say, is only because I know this track like the back of my hand. But right, like, first try, point, first try, at the, first lap at this, you were going down, like, a shortcut yeah. path or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but at a certain point, I was at a point where I could get past, like, the first couple tracks no problem, and then I would just get stuck on, like, the fourth or the fifth, and maybe mm -hmm. I'd see the sixth track once and then lose and have to retry and have to get all the way back to it and you know like it took like a quite a few times i don't want to say a number because i mean it wasn't like 20 but it was more than one attempt to beat the pro circuit that's a very um, narrow both of, range both of them. But yeah. i mean 20. yeah but i mean like with when you're ta when you're talking about doing i mean how many how long do each how long does each track take? I mean, you gotta get through five. You gotta get through five full races to yeah, get five to full race, races. So. Is, is and every race is is at least a couple, a couple minutes. Couple minutes. Yeah. 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 So, so that is a lot of time. Oh shit. Yeah. Wait, is that your partner? So, uh, no, I picked the uh, fourth um, team, the team that's good at both speed and tricks, but has no teamwork. Oh really? Yeah. No blocking skills. Both of them are basically in it for themselves. They're only on the same team because, hey, you know, they were probably picked. Monet. Yeah. So, you can be in last and your partner will still be charging for first, you know? Huh. Hmm. So basically, these people these people are kind of like, you know, like, in every kart racing game, there's someone who's a little slower but good at turning. And someone who's fast but, you know... Not good at turning, and turning isn't the right thing to say here, but basically this is the team you pick when you know how to play the game. Oh, I see. Because right. They're very specialized you know, they, I mean, skills. Speed and tricks, those are the most important, so when you don't need, you know, your team to block for you or whatever, and you can just get out in the lead. These will be the fastest anymore. guys. Yeah. Gosh, so you're, this, you're really... this first... Yeah, this first track, that shortcut right there at the end, mm -hmm. I mean, use that. I mean, that's how you're going to win. That's pretty insane. Yeah, that's a huge shortcut. Yeah. yeah. And you'll see, even in this... Um, oh, by the way, if it's not apparent, I've broken up each of the pro circuits into two different um, videos. Because mm. otherwise, it'd be like a 30-minute long video. Yeah. And oh. I feel that's a little too long. But even across this first pro circuit, you'll see... I dominate these first couple events because, I mean, to get back to the first event, if it's not going your way, you just quit the circuit, come back in. The loading times mean it's like 10 seconds That's to true. get another yeah. shot yeah, cause, without cause blowing again, it continue. Because, again, you're not speeding up those load times at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but 
then so even this circuit right here, I'll do really well at the beginning and start doing worse as I go on and don't know the courses as well. Mm. Uh, mm. I should say, except for the sixth track, which it's one of those, It's this happened in Jet X 2 as well, where I had a ton of trouble with it up until I passed it once, and then I just do fine now. Oh, yeah, it's... I've I've had that, that with sixth with track. I've had that with other games like games of other genres and, and stuff as well. Like there's these things that are really hard to do, but once you pull them off once, it's like a switch flicks in your head and suddenly you understand. I I had that exact experience with uh, one of the bosses in True Crime Streets of L.A. You're you're fighting what is the equivalent of Kim Jong Il, and it's an incredibly difficult fight. Like it's probably the hardest fight in the game, uh, and it's the final boss of one of the one of the storylines and once you beat it once if you go back and try it again i don't know maybe this was just me but like i was just piss easy like you could just button mash <laughs> through it because you just by then once you've beaten it once you are already so good at the combo system that you just you don't even accidentally button mash things that aren't combos you just always button mash yeah. combos <laughs> Which is weird because that's the only fight in the game, the only one in the game, where the fighting system turns into like a 2.5D fighting game. <laughs> Everywhere else in the game, it's like a free roam kind of thing. It's weird. It's a very weird yeah. game. Yeah. Um, so aside from the difficulty level, which we ramped on for, you know, six minutes, mm -hmm. otherwise, pro is basically, well, you're faster now. Like I said, in Mario Kart, it's going to 150cc. Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, you could play these tracks, once you unlock them, back in, you know, the slowest carts, and you'll be able to tell a huge difference. Mainly, the fact that now that you're faster, it's harder to do ground tricks, because you mm. don't have the room. Right, because um, you, you reach the next turn quicker. Yeah. So you return... So, so, so then you have to lean on... For Rush, you have to lean on your, uh... Uh, you have to lean on your air tricks more, right? Lean on air tricks or know exactly when to do ground tricks. Cause, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, so in the pro mode, or at least in the races, you know, given to you for the pro mode, getting your double rush is really, at least for me, something you'll build up to and you'll get in like lap three, and then you have to use it at the right moment to really get yourself ahead. Like this is where it's most strategic and not just something you get and something you use. Right. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to use your double rush and crash immediately, you might be fucked for the race. That's true, yeah. Mm. You might not be able to get enough rush to get it back and then use it in a better point. Yeah. Um, but by this point, and especially if you did get in first the previous races and circuits, Still looks which good. again... It looks yeah, so beautiful. Um, by this point, you should have your signature tricks, so mm. that'll really help. Especially, mm. well, because I didn't even mention the trick point requirements get higher as well. Oh. Of course. Yeah, that but makes sense. But you should have your signature tricks now, which is just like, you know, again, the same button combination for all teams, and you'll do an air trick worth 10,000 points. Mm. You know? Mm. Or a ground trick worth 7,500. So again, just want to mention, at this point, I was at the stage where... If I had to restart at all on the first two tracks, I would just quit the tournament and start it again. Mm, you know? Yeah. Because I wanted to have my retries for later on. Right. You don't, know, so I think... you don't want to waste retries on something you know you can do without. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, here's a fun fact for you. This level's called Cold Harbor. Cold Harbor is also the name of Molag Ball's realm in the Elder Scrolls universe. Nice. Yeah. You, we might even see him, you know, yeah, to one of the just sides. Just towering off on the side, just like, hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, I'm pretty you sure this is a... Lair? Yeah, this game takes place simultaneous with Elder Scrolls Online, so... <laughs> yeah. This is... They actually packaged this with Elder Scrolls Online as like a, uh, a side... side mode. Like, the multiplayer is... It's like, kind of like... like do you uh, remember the game Rage? Where, like... The main yeah, game yeah. was a first-person shooter, and then the multiplayer was all, like, in-car racing. Same way. This game is the multiplayer part component of Elder Scrolls Online. That's right. Most of it is single-player, and then when you get online, you get into a, get on a jet <laughs> ski, and you yeah. ride around. Yeah. It's pretty cool, uh, though. 
Yeah. And Unexpected, but rush. pretty cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bethesda really uh. pulled out all the stops. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I guess small thing I should mention as well is that you, you, if you guys have watched my LPs, you know I'm pretty conservative in gameplay. Mm -hmm. I, of course, have to mention that. But, like, if there's a shortcut and I'm worried about how well I'll do, I'll just take the same path all three laps, the right. fastest path all the time. So, you know, while I like to be able to show off, like, here's the main track, here's a good shortcut... On By pro, it's hard to do it. Take yeah. the shortcuts, you know. I mean, if yeah. you really wanted to go back, if somebody really wanted to see like what the different, sh all the shortcuts were or something, I guess you could go back and record like once you've unlocked the map, you can go back and record it like on a lower difficulty and just kind of yeah. go through it leisurely. But like, th there's hardly a point. It's yeah, especially in this game where a shortcut is just mm -hmm. cutting a buoy to take a corner. Yeah, much. especially imagine, if you're not sure whether something would be game. a shortcut, imagine driving on the other side of the buoy. <laughs> especially in this game where the real reason you play it is just for that sick double rush. Uh huh. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess if people want to see that, they they could leave a yeah. comment and he might do it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so it's not that big. Yeah. It, it's something it's like, not that special. I just, I've always got to point out Don't like anything it. and everything, even when it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This third place. <laughs> so yeah, like, place. Sometimes the AI just yeah. gets ahead of you, and there's no shot. You know. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Now imagine if maybe you combine. Yeah. Imagine if you combine this game with that one. Uh, that one ATV racer, and instead of which one, literally the one called ATV racers. Yeah, the one called ATV racers, and uh, one all your characters were furries, obviously. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. And two, of course, you could set the laps to fifty laps. Oh. Oh God. Yeah. I think it was forty laps. Wow, that I that was, it was fifty. You were cutting it pretty close there to almost becoming third. Mm. Yeah, I do want to mention when I said you have no shot. I was talking about how first place was way far ahead and not the guy I passed up like five seconds after. Right. Mm. You know. Um, so that's going to be the first half of Pro Circuit. Again, I'd rather go slightly short videos than slightly oh, long. Yeah. So. Oh, and then we're going to go to we're going to go to Twinkle Park after this, and then Station yeah. Square. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Again, Bone the Dry the Desert. Pro yeah, the game is only Pro Circuit 1, so, you know, after I beat that next video, we'll still have Pro Circuit 2. And then oh, we're, yeah, boy. The, the carve ain't done yet, baby! And then we'll be playing through all of Donkey Kong Country 3 in carve. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways. All right. See you next time.